Hey guys, it's Miss Lindsay here. This week is Creepy Crawly Spider Week. So you're gonna be learning how to make a spider's web with this really cool shading effect in the corner and a really large hairy spider down below. All right guys, so what you're gonna need is a piece of paper, a pencil, or a marker. Just anything to draw with. Okay, so the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the corner of my paper. I'm gonna start with the spider's web. So at the corner, I'm gonna come and make a diagonal line down. Like that. Now all of my lines are gonna come and start at the same point here. So I'm gonna make another diagonal line. And I'm gonna make another diagonal line. And I'm gonna make two more, except this time they're gonna go way longer. They're not gonna come off the paper, but they're gonna come pretty close. So I'm gonna start at the top again. Make a really long diagonal line and stop. And I'm gonna do one more, make a really long diagonal line and stop. All right. So now I'm going to make the lines inside my spider's web. And to do that, I'm going to hop up a little bit from the bottom and make rainbow lines all the way around. And they should touch each other at the end. And if you need to turn your paper so you can see the lines better, go ahead and do that. Sometimes that helps. Sometimes some people can just make the lines with a straight piece of paper like that. So we're gonna keep going and make our rainbow lines all the way until we reach the tippy top of our paper. And you can space them out as far apart or as close together as you want. And if you wanna do a completely different spider's web, that's totally fine as well. It's your drawing, you draw what makes you happy. But if you wanna continue and follow along with mine, go for it. All right, so we're gonna add some more lines at these two bottom lines here because these are a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a rainbow line again and close these up like that. Okay, so now we get to add our spider. Now our spider is gonna be in the middle of our paper right here and it's gonna be a pretty big spider. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is make a C shape. So I'm gonna to come to the middle and make a really big C shape. That's my first step. Once that's done, I'm gonna come and make a backward C on the other side, almost like you're making parentheses. So I'm gonna make my line a little bit longer at the top and make a backward C. I'm gonna leave space open at the bottom because I wanna make sure I have enough room to add my head. All right, so once your spider's body is done, now we get to add his head. And you can do the head any shape you want. I'm gonna make just a circle and connect it like that. All right, because my spider is gonna be a poisonous spider, I'm gonna add a diamond detail on his back. You can add whatever you want, or you don't have to add a detail back here. You can just leave it plain. But I think I'm gonna add a diamond just so other animals know that he is poisonous and to leave him alone. All right, now we're gonna add the eyes. I'm gonna add a lot of eyes on my spider. You do not have to, um, but if you want to, you totally can. So I'm just gonna add circles. And inside those circles, I'm gonna make a highlight and color the background. And I'm just gonna place those all over the place um, on his head. So my spider is not super scary, but he's not really cute looking. But I think he's gonna look pretty cool. And again, you can color your spider any color you want. So think about the colors you might wanna use for him. All right, I think I'm done with my eyes. The next step I'm gonna add are the fangs. So my fangs are gonna curve on the outside and curve up. And I'm just gonna color those in. I'm gonna make another thing on the other side. Curve and curve up. And you can make your fangs different than mine. Mine are just really simple fangs. All right, my next step is to add the legs. 
Now I'm going to add four legs on this side and four legs on that side. So the first step is to add a diagonal line that comes up and a diagonal line that comes in. I'm going to go ahead and make a copycat line. Diagonal line, go a little bit farther out, and this time I'm going to make a copycat line, but I'm slowly going to fade it into my leg. Slowly fade it in like that. Okay, I'm going to make another leg. Diagonal line, I'm going to make it a little bit longer and make another diagonal line that comes up. Okay, copycat line that goes a little bit longer and then slowly fade it into that leg. Alright, my next step is to add the down legs over here. So these are going to face downward. These ones are going more towards the top of the web. So I'm going to add a diagonal line going down and another diagonal line. And then I'm going to add a copycat line inside and then slowly fade it in. And I'm going to do the same thing. Diagonal line coming down, diagonal line, copycat line, slowly fade it in like that. Okay, so now I'm going to do the legs on the other side. Mine are going to be about the same height. You can create your legs however you want them to look. I'm gonna try and make them look similar, but if they don't look similar, that's totally fine. Not a big deal. All right, I'm gonna make a copycat line inside. Slowly fade it in. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing down here. Ooh, diagonal line. Diagonal line going up. Copycat line slowly fade it in and now I'm going to do his legs at the bottom diagonal line diagonal line copycat line slowly fade it in and one more time diagonal line diagonal line copycat line and slowly fade it in I will probably color my legs in black you can color yours however you want them to look all right, so our spider's kind of just dangling in space. We kind of need to put um, his spider string on him. So I'm gonna come at the bottom here and I'm gonna make a line coming up. Another line on the other side, connect it into my spider's web like you're making an A. And at the top, I'm just gonna add another detail here, like that. Now I want my spider to be really hairy. So I'm gonna just add lines all over the place just to make it appear as if he is a hairy spider. This is going to give him some really great texture. And I'm just going to keep going with those all over. And I'll put some on his diamond and I'm going to put them on his legs. I think it'll add a really nice um, texture to our drawing. But you don't have to do this part. If you want to, you can totally up to you it's your spider if you want him to look super different than what i'm making you totally can it's your drawing you create whatever spider that makes you happy all right there's our spider so he is done and he is ready to be colored in so i'm going to show you a really great shading method for your spider's web if you don't have colored pencils or crayons at home you can color in your picture however you want but I'm going to show you how to add some shading to our spider's web to make it kind of stand out and pop out from the picture. All right, guys, so if you want to add some shading to your spider's web, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to need either a colored pencil or a crayon to do this. Now, you're going to take your colored pencil and you're going to find the edge of your spider's web. And you're going to push down really hard to make a dark line like this. And we want a nice dark line, so put pressure on your colored pencil. Okay, so next, we're going to continue doing that, but we're gonna loosen up pressure on our colored pencil by lightly making our line get a little bit lighter until we're going really light. So this takes some practice to do. So you might wanna practice it on a different piece of paper. If it's too difficult for you to do right now, color your um, spider's web in a different way. But if you wanna add a shading effect, 
that's how you do it. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So I'm going to push down really hard on the side of my spider's web line to make a nice dark line. And I'm going to loosen up the pressure on my colored pencil until I'm making a lighter line. And I'm going to continue doing that and I'm going to continue loosening up pressure. So I'm not going to push down as hard until I'm barely even pushing anything like that. And I'm going to continue doing that. This just helps to add a little bit more depth to our spider's web. You don't have to do this. If it's too tricky, um, color your spider's web in a different way. But if you want to add some shadowing and some shading, this is how you're going to get there. Mm -hmm. 